called Fruit Loops. And so we use this for kindergarten and first grade. Some things you're going to need, some deck rings and bowling pins. Now, if you don't want to use bowling pins, you can use the thin pins. You can use cones as well for this activity. Uh, we put the kids on our outcourt volleyball line so they weren't too far just because these don't uh, slide very well. But we, uh, yeah, and we place the dead rings along the line we want them to kick from. Older kids, if you're going to play from, further away. So what you're going to do is you're going to have them kick the dead ring and try to knock down the bowling ball. After they kick it, we have large class sizes, so ours partnered up. So they go get the ring, they go back, and they hand it to their partner. So now my partner would go, and I would stay further back so they have room to kick. So now I would stand in the black line waiting for my partner to be done. Partner's done, it's my turn again. If you have smaller class sizes, by all means, let the kids play by themselves. More opportunities are better. So then I would do my kick. Now anytime we knock down the mullet pit, we're going to stand it back up. And we earn one point, you tell the kids you get one point, and then you get to keep going. If you want to have something for kids to collect, like playing cards, caps, tile letters, whatever you want them to collect, like point cards, whatever, have them collect them. We just had them added up. It worked out great. The kids really loved it. And they just kept going until time was up. We do have uh, something else you may want to use. You can also put poly spots underneath the bowling pins. I didn't use poly spots because I have my vinyl stickers down, so they just use those instead. I hope that your students will enjoy this one. I'm Coach Pro reminding you to keep on moving.